Right, good morning Robins and Rabbits and welcome to the first phonics lesson that we're going, I'm going to give a go at trying to record. Um, thank you for all your feedback about the Read, Write, Ink Lady and well done to those of you who have kept going with those. So we're going to have two weeks now of a little bit different and I'm going to film some lessons and you can let me know what you think and if you think they're too difficult we can always give you the Read, Write, Ink links back again. So two days we're going to focus on one sound for two days and then change. So which might sound a little bit slow, but actually it's going to be quite challenging. So day one will be a little bit easier and day two will be more difficult. So you will need a pen and a paper, piece of paper before we start. And the first thing I'd like you to do is write down all the spellings or all the sounds you can think of for how to spell the sound A. So if I said to you, write down the sound A, how would you write it? And see if you can come up with two to three ways of spelling the sound A. If you need to pause the video, you could hear. So I'm guessing that most of you got maybe two, some of you might have got all four of these ways. So we've got A, snail in the rain. A, may I play. A, bake a cake. And then A, on its own. So those are the four ones that we learn through Read, Write, Ink, okay? There are so many more ways that we're going to, going to explore today and tomorrow, but those are the four main ways. And we use these at school all the time. This is our complex speed sound chart. And the reason that we've got those three ways plus the A on its own is because they are used most of the time in English language. But we keep telling you English is really, really tricky and there are so many different spellings and so many different ways you can spell the same sound. But those are our four ways. So we're going to start with reading some words containing those sounds. Um, I don't think by this stage in year two you need to be doing the Fred out loud unless you really need to. So if you need to do Fred out loud you can, but if not, Fred in your head, when I push the word forward you can say the word. And we're going to go quite quickly with these because I think you should be able to read them. So, played. Brain, got the AI in brain. Complain, when you're moaning about something, again, the AI sound. Aprons, something you might wear if you're painting or you're cooking, and we've just got the A on its own for aprons. Greys, a split diagraph A for greys. Name, again, split diagraph way. Saturday, and again we've got the A-Y. The A-Y usually comes at the end of most words, not all the time, because it didn't in played, but most of the time it would come at the end of a word. And Saturday has a capital letter, it's the day of the week. Snail, A-I again. Uh, I've saved my favourite one to the end. Some of you will know why. Amy, and just an A on its own again. A capital letter because it is a proper noun, it's a name. So, those are the words contained in those four sounds. We're going to look at a story to start with before we explore some more A words. And you have been emailed this story. So you could either, if I just get it on the screen, you could either pause the video now so you could see it on the video, or you could have it up beside you, or if you've asked for a printed out one, then you should have that in front of you now. So I'm going to read it to start with, and then what I would like you to do is if you could try in a minute, and we'll leave it at the end so you can pause the video, write down all the A words that you can find in this story. So it's called Rainy Day, Sunny Day. If it rains, Kate and James stay in, they play and paint. If the rain stops, they get snails from the path by the gate. If it is a sunny day, Kate and James get some hay and play with a rabbit. His name is Cotton Tell. So it's quite a short text and tomorrow's text will be a little bit longer. But what you need to do now is having your A's, could you make a list of all the A words you can find contained in this spelling? All the A words you can find with this spelling and so on. So I'll give you one example. So I'm looking at the title straight away and I can see we have, if I had this spelling on my board, I can see that we've got the word rainy. 
So I would write rainy underneath that A spelling because you can see it's got that A spelling in it. So you're going to do that for the whole text. That's going to be your first job. So pause the video now and complete that. Right, so hopefully that you found all the A spellings in that word. There is a second activity which is going to be some linked comprehension to the text that we're going to have each day. So this is where it gets more tricky now. We're going to look at these in more detail tomorrow, but we're going to look at some more spellings of A. And we have got these. So we've got EA, that makes an A sound, EI, EY and EIGH. So we've already looked at four ways of spelling A and these are four further ways that you could spell the sound A. So we're going to explore these now in some words that we're going to have a go at reading. And some of the words might be quite new to you so we can look at the meaning of the words as well. We'll start off with a couple easy ones that I know. The first two we're going to have are actually year two common exception words. So the first word, break. And we can see we've got the E-A, B, R, A, K, E-A in break. Okay, and then one that rhymes with break, steak. Okay, steak, in, um, you could eat. Steak is a piece of meat, okay, that you might eat. Steak. So that's the E-A spelling, a different spelling. We've got this one, which is one of our red words. A, they, okay? They went to the park. We use that one all the time. And there's so many times I see children spelling this. They, T-H-A-I. So just have a good look at it. E-Y, they. Another word. You can read that word. A, mm, vain. This spelling is E and I, vain. Okay, the veins are what carries your blood around your body, okay? Veins, that's that kind of vein. Ooh, let's see if anyone knows this one. R A N. And in this one, the A sound is E I G. R A N. Rain. Okay, and this kind of rain means if you're a monarch, so you're our queen, okay, you might reign the country, okay, so you're in like charge of the country, reign. And different monarchs reign for different periods of time in our history. So another one, this one, hopefully you read that, nay. And if I, I even said it a little bit, nay, a horse might make a nay sound, and you can see this one actually has E, I, G, all the way to H in it. So just two sounds. Let's have another one. Obey. So this one, we've just got the E and Y. O, B, A. Obey. And that's when you're listening to rules, you're following instructions, you're obeying the rules. And the last one I wanted to look at, again, only two sounds. A way. And this could be if you're um, weighing out some ingredients, if you're making a cake, way. Okay? So, we have just looked at some words, and we're going to revisit these words tomorrow. But if you wanted to at home now, you could have a little bit of an investigation to see how many other words that you could spell with these spelling rules. Okay? So, the second part of the phonics today, that's your first part. The second part is going to be some reading comprehension. And you're going to be using the same text. And what I'm going to do is just put on the screen five questions for you to answer about this text, okay? And you can answer the questions. And that will just help your understanding of what you're reading, okay? Email if any questions and enjoy the rest of your day.